I want James to get right here Zidane. Or R9. The cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins. Check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Right here. That's what I want. What's it going to be? It's going to be... Go on, Brazil. Oh, no. Um... Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That is that is rather unfortunate. That's that's a bit of an L. Hopefully, this middle prime has got a big icon inside. Here we go. Come on, big icon. Oh, Desai's class. Desai is fantastic. A lot of uh, so in the comments, we've had a lot of people saying recently that. They think that I shouldn't get excited for centre-backs because obviously centre-backs aren't attackers and whatnot. All I'm going to say is centre-backs win you titles, baby. All right? No, but in, uh, on a serious note, as a main United fan, trust me when I say this, centre-backs are, uh, when you get a good centre-back, pretty exciting to me. I think that this Desai is honestly going to be one of the best centre-backs in the whole game. I think that this centre-back, like, whilst obviously getting a prime Cruyff is phenomenal and stuff like that, like, I don't think there'll be a TOTS card much better than this SIE because icons play differently in game as well. It's just a class card. Another one. Let's see if we can get... What do we get in the last one? I've already forgotten. Prime SIE. 1.5 mil in Prime SIE. That's what we've got to beat. We've got to beat 1.5 mil. Come on. What are we saying, EA? That stinks, man. That absolutely stinks. Zola isn't bad. Like, the, the problem is, is that Zola's not bad when you've got better choices ahead of you. When he's your best pick, that's bad. That's very bad. Um, at least it's a card that'll perform well in game. I think all three of the cards would perform well in game, but yeah, it's really unfortunate. Give us some fodder, eh? Or a what if card. The what if look today has actually been pretty cracked. Like, the what if pack look today. We've had three so far in player picks. So maybe this 83 plus has one in. Okay, maybe not. But an informed Ronaldo wouldn't go miss. I don't even know who that is. Oh, that's um, that guy, <laughs> De Paul. That is uh, it's not Logan Paul. It's not Jake Paul. It's De Paul. There you go. Anything else in the pack? Two eight two eight four eight in form is nice because that's good fodder. Couple eight sixes and some eight fives. Oh, and, and a PK in there. So technically, three eighty sixes and four eighty fives. That's actually not terrible. That that's a lot better than I thought. That's not terrible, to be fair. Let's see if the eighty two plus is better than the eighty three plus. That eighty three plus was a little bit, I think, below average. Uh, it was it was all right. I think the inform walkouts made up for it, but I've definitely seen better. Um, because it was just eighty six rated fodder, which isn't that useful. That being said. This is an 86 rated on the front without even an inform to cover it up now. So this could be very bad. This this screams terrible right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that... See, that shouldn't be allowed. That right there should not be allowed. Rico's icon player pick now, lads. Recon's icon... Recon's? Rico's icon player pick. Here we go. What's he getting? Prime Del Piero. That is not bad. It's not great. I don't... Actually, is it great? I don't know. What's Prime Icon Del Piero saying? 700k. It's a nice card. It's just not a huge value. That's the annoying thing. Like, the card is nice in game. It's just the value of the card is quite low. I think that's a good card, though. I think that's a good card. Like it's not bad at all, in my opinion. Um, it, it's not a great pick, though. The, these picks, for some reason today, don't seem like they're as good as yesterday. Maybe we've just had a couple of unlucky picks. I don't know. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Well, uh, I think the choice here is obviously going to be Del Piero. But, uh, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Another middle prime now, or prime or mid, sorry. Player pick. The first owner RTG right here. Let's add to the first owner pack. Look, come on. It is Prime Rivaldo, which, in my opinion, is a good card. Just a two-star weak foot lets him down massively. And probably not worth the value of the pick. 
We were getting, I was getting so excited because that was so, like, like he's got so many sick cards and tradable. And then, there you go. Oh, I, I, I would personally pick Rivaldo there. I think the card actually looks nice in game. It's just the two star weak foot massively lets it down, but would perform well at like a striker spot. I don't think either of the two cards are worth it, in my opinion. Ouch. That's pain. Another icon player pick now. Here we go. What are we getting for this one? Ooh, I take like it's been a rough it's been a rough start to the day. We've had we've had a few rough icon picks. Like, I think Robbie C, Roberto Carlos, is a nice card. And I think mid desai is also a nice card. Um Issue is that. I mean, Roberto Collins is worth 1.3 mil. So, you know, that's decent. I don't know what Desai is worth right now. I'm going to check on the market. He's currently worth about 900k. So, it's not bad. I think Roberto Collins has got to be the pick there, realistically. He's got team of the year Alfonso Davies already, though. That's the only annoying thing. But, like, maybe you play him, you start him right back and then move him to left back in game. Because that's a nice card, man. That's a really nice card. Even if it's like a center mid or something like that be really good but that's how you'd be a great center back as well that's a that's a that's a tough one that's a very tough one all right another primal mid icon player pick now here we go come on EA, please just say give us one big player here please man Boutra, van ba over i didn't even clock his prime maradona oh my god i was bro i was oh i feel so dumb right now i feel so dumb I was looking at Butra and I was like, oh, mid Butra. I was like, oh, Prime Van Basten. That's Prime Maradona. Oh my God. That's a four and a half million coin card. I like, I was genuinely looking at the first two and I didn't even pay attention. Oh my God. Now, this is a card that I would absolutely love to have the opportunity to try out as a first owner player, man. Because look at these stats, bro. 91 agility and 98 balance. 97 finishing. 95 composure. Lacks a little bit in stamina. But I don't think that'll make a, a huge difference. Because in game, I, I imagine he's just absolutely incredible. Wow. 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 Now that is one hell of a player pick right there. I mean, obviously the choice is Maradona there. There's no, there's no doubt about it. That's, that's sick. That is really, really good. Mid icon on my account now. Here we go. What are we getting? What are we getting? Come on. I just submitted Javi into the SBC to get... I'd submitted base Javi into the SBC to get mid Javi out of it. That's arguably a worse card. That's just the nation, but take away the S at the start. That's how I feel right now. Thibs, Prime mid icon player pick. Can we get him something good here, please? Can we get Thibs something quality EA, please? Here we go. Come on. I honestly have never seen a, a player pick with two Mexicans in it before. Both Mexican icons in it before. That's mad. Um, there's only two icons from Mexico in the game and both of them are in the, are in the player pick. And Prime Baresi. Uh, yikes. That's a massive L, unfortunately. That is a terrible, terrible icon player pick. Oh, no. That is a huge, huge, huge yikes. And the weird thing is as well, is that those three nations are almost identical, bar the part in the middle for the Mexican flag. That's yikes. Okay. We've only really had, I think, two good icons today from the middle prime icon player picks. I hope that this can give us better luck. Come on. Can we get can we get some good luck finally? Ooh, Prime Cannavaro. That saves it. Because I saw I saw Crespo. And then I saw Rush. And I got very, very scared. But Prime Cannavaro saves that massively. Because that's actually a really good card, in my opinion. A really good card. 1,065,000 coins on Footbin right now. 
that's a nice, nice centre back, man. Like that's an end game centre back, absolutely. I know he's five foot nine, and people don't like this guy because he's five foot nine. But I can tell you from experience, if you're kind of Aro, his height isn't that noticeable. A little bit if you're playing against someone like an Ebra, but in this game, I honestly think that it's not, it's not that noticeable in my opinion. Um, you'd probably need to put an anchor or a shadow or something like that on him. Uh, to improve the pace a little bit. But apart from that, it is a really nice card. And it, you're pretty much broken even, so it's not bad. And I think that he'll play really well in game. So overall, a win in my opinion. All right, 83 plus times 25. Here we go. Good folder here, please. Or a what-if card. Wow, we've really not had a what-if card in so long. It's another Yunes. I'm going to skip it because we've seen him walk out about 30 times already. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So you got a walkout in form. Uh, an 88, 87, 86. Technically two walkouts in De Jong and Fernandinho as well. Uh, so how many is that? It's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six walkouts. Te technically. Technically. Um, that's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Come on. Give us some fodder in this 83 plus pack. Give us some fodder, eh? And a what if card. No what if card. What's this going to be? English... Left wing. Reading the dream, Sterling. 88. It's not too bad. What do you want? A couple 87s in here. A couple 86s in there as well. Ooh. 288 and 87. Some 85s. Kyle Walker being one of them. That's not bad. That's all right, to be fair. That's all right. Another 85 in there as well. And Godin. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 85 plus pack for Ryan now. What are we saying with this? We've not had a what if card in a while, to be fair. Not a what-if card in a long time. And we still don't have a what-if card here. Good fodder. German goalie. Kimmich. 88 isn't terrible. If we can get some more um, fodder in this, we'll be uh, loving life. Muller's worth about 45k at the moment. Plus about 60k in 85. So it's a solid like 180k roughly. Something like that. That's not too bad. Ben's 83 plus pack. He's been waiting all day. Been waiting all day to... Uh, to to get this pack done. He's got finally got it done. He's going to pay him out with an inform of what caliber? Yunez. It's all right. It's not It's not god awful. It's not fantastic. But there could be some fodder behind it, which is what you want. 90 to Stegen. 286s. Orsic there as well. Three duplicate items. An 85 in there. That's a good pack. That is a good pack, man. That's a very good pack. We'll take that. Another 82 plus pack. Everton badge. That means Van Dyke in the pack. Exactly. Oh, in form. Go on, Portuguese or English. Yunez. It's all right. Could mean there's some good dangler fodder in there. 89s and 90s, please. Or 91s. Who knows? 91s. You love to see it. That is a fantastic pack right there. I mean, all black, Bruno, and an 84 in form. Fantastic. 130k, another 50k, 60k. Uh, Leno's like 20k as well as Akadi as well. Nice. That is a good pack. Let's see if this 82 plus is going to pay out with a lot of fodder. Hopefully it is. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. No inform. So it's going to be Argentina. Messi would be pretty nice. The ball at 88. I think he's currently worth about 55 to 60k. Because I bought him earlier for a, an Icon SPC. Not bad. What else we got in there hiding behind him? An 86. 385s. What's in the dupes? Bowman. I'd say it's a small L of a pack. Because you've got some good fodder. But you've also, like, the opportunity there to get some more walkouts was huge. And unfortunately, it didn't pay out. So it's not god-awful. But it's not what you're looking for, is it?